YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hey, day after Lumber Kings uh, got eliminated. Of course, minor league baseball is over in the Midwest League. Once again, congratulations to the South Bend Cubs on a three-game sweep on the Lumber Kings. In fact, uh, is it true that they swept through the whole playoffs, right? So they finished with a 9 and all run. That's two games before the regular season ended and all seven games in the playoffs, right? Yes. Let's talk about red hot at the end of the year, just at the right time. And they I, were a wild card for second half. Yeah, and they just made wild card, too. So, uh, and that's going to make our Chicago Cubs going to look pretty good in about four years, maybe five years. Looks like a no-world series title for our Cubs. If the Cubs make some boneheaded decisions, like sending some players to the Yankees, uh, Cardinals, and any other team yeah, but the Cubs. I stuff happening with the Cubs. <laughs> yeah. And there will be, uh, things will be flying in Chicago. Media will be on the owners, and the owners will leave town. Uh, yeah. Or management, uh, and all that stuff. I had to take something away from Angie. Uh, there was a bag I showed you on that video last night. I had to take it away from Angie because she started to open it. I told her it's not supposed to be open until her birthday. It's October you guys 5th. will find out what it is. But she, she can't wait till October 5th. So we compromised. How about October 4th? Which is the anniversary of the Angie and Chuck Show channel, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll find out what she had in the bag to October's 4th video. Uh, that'll be when we, uh, that's when we, uh, the video will be filmed on October 4th. Probably won't be seen until, actually no, let's just make, let's film a week before October 4th so it'll be seen on October 4th, uh, basically. So how's that sound? That's a better compromise? That's a better compromise, she's busy. Okay, for the ones who've been requesting and been on our butts for, uh, Chuck, how about a grilling video? How about a grilling video? Oh, if you saw the title, yes, you guys got one. Okay, uh, here's our electric grill. George Foreman electric grill. We made dozens of videos. This is our, actually, this is a newer model from an older model that we used to have. And we made a lot of videos uh, about why we can have electric grills on a patio. So check out our past videos. Uh, from years past, uh, I got so I got so tired of explaining it over and over and over. And of course, if you're new to the channel, uh, some uh, there there are some small loopholes you have to find and go through those loopholes, uh, basically. But as long as the the property manager is okay with it, it's only electric because we cannot have open flames and all that stuff. So we got past videos talking about that too, and city ordinances uh, also can't allow it too. But you know sometimes that can be closed up in a hurry without us knowing it. Uh, that's how city government works half the time nowadays. So uh, all right, right now what are we grilling? We're grilling ribeye steaks, but these are thin cut ribeye steaks. Uh, they're meant to be for sandwiches, like ribeye sandwiches you normally get at a carnival or a fair or some other special food choices at ball games and uh, some other events. All right, so let's try some up right now. We'll fry some up right now. Okay, those are the ribeye steaks we're having. Yes, uh, there are some. Uh, we had it in the refrigerator for a couple of days, and we were supposed to grill them. Last night, before we went to last night's game, but I told Angel, let's hold one more day so we can make a grilling video instead. So, that if the uh, Lovely Kings would have won last night, we would be down at the ballpark right now. But we're home, season's over, let's just start grilling, uh, basically. So, I can't wait for, for uh, winter season to get here, uh, technically, because being that I can do uh, basically. Uh, I can do uh, pork ribs or, or baby back ribs uh, during the winter because I can slow cook it during the winter out here than uh, versus the summer. Sorry about that. I'm doing two things at once. So sorry about the camera angle and camera shots right here. Uh, I gotta turn off the camera. I got something. I can't. Oh, wait, wait. I got it. There we go. All four is on. Give them away. Okay, let's give these things a first turn. 
Looking pretty good so far. Oh, can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we still measured this uh, drill for indoors. Um, it's still, this drill service is slightly smaller than the original drill service uh, from the original drill we had, but it's still too big to fit on our, on our countertop uh, base. It's just a slightly too big uh, for our countertop, so that's why we like to do it out here, uh, basically. And it keeps the smell outside. Uh, basically, unless we cook in the oven, which we probably will eventually. Nice day so far, partly cloudy. Oh, we had a nice soaking rain last night. Uh, a couple of nice loud thunder boomers and lightning strikes, but nothing really severe. Uh, most of the severe weather was uh, early in the day during the Iowa Iowa State game. You heard that turned out that game started at like a 20 minute delay, and they didn't finish it up till almost. Uh, almost quarter to eight, uh, basically. Uh, I think it was one of them. Was it around quarter to eight they finally finished that game? Right when the Lumber King game ended. That's when it ended? Yeah. When the Lumber King's game ended? So that was past nine o'clock then? Yep. Okay, so, yeah, that was a long football game, wasn't it? They had three thunderstorm warnings in the area, so they had to delay those oh, games. What? Yeah. Well, a hail warning is the same as the thunderstorm warning, uh, basically. So they had three thunderstorm warnings, bing, bang, boom, during that game at the start and a couple times during that game. So that was, and Iowa did win over Iowa State 18 to 17. So it turned out to be a good game after all. But the problem is, it seemed like the weatherman almost won it. Yes, yeah, as soon as the ribeye steaks get done, we're going to put them on these hamburger buns. Uh, these are not the normal hamburger buns we normally buy. Uh, this is a bakery uh, from our local uh, grocery store. Uh, they were bakery buns, and they had them on sale at the time of this video. Uh, one by one bag of eight count, and you get the other one for free. So uh, it turned out normally it's like two ninety nine a bag. So it seems about let's just round it off to about a dollar and a half a bag. So that made it a better deal, uh, basically. Okay, it's nothing like grilling out and having a nice cold one to go with it. I know, I'll see the comments down below as always. And uh, uh, I just say, come on guys, uh, give me a break uh, once in a while. Just had a nice birthday party, or can't say birthday party, but I had a nice birthday, so it was worth celebrate. And of course I had one or two at the Lumber King game. And I think I just stayed with Actually, no, I stayed with one because the beer lines got so ridiculously long uh, last night. If you notice, that was a good crowd last night, too, at the Lumber King game, uh, I may add. It was probably one of the biggest crowds I ever seen at a Lumber King game for a Midwest League Championships uh, game. So, uh, they knew, I guess the crowd know, the, uh, I guess the local people knew that this home series was going to be special because the trophy will be awarded. And when you're down, coming home, back home on your home field, and you're down two games to none, you knew either game three, game four, or game five was going to be a decider. And someone was going to get that trophy. That was a nice trophy, too. So, um, I'm glad, I'm hoping South Bend took it back home <laughs> in one piece, <laughs> basically. But that's almost like a Stanley Cup type trophy, too. So, I'm probably just drinking champagne, probably drinking champagne out of it. Uh, maybe having a baby poop in it, <laughs> something like that, I don't know. It's something to do with the Stanley Cup, so, uh, maybe, I don't know. They don't really haul it around. It's only a minor league trophy, come on, uh, basically. So, uh, yeah, it's not bad looking trophy, too. It was Major League, uh, has something similar to it, but they only got is a trophy with a bunch of flags around it. Okay, enjoy my cold one. And we gotta turn those steaks a couple more times. Oh yeah, let's turn these again. Looking pretty good. I don't have that char on this grill like I did with the other electric grill. But they are nice. Yeah, these are the type of steaks you get 
at uh, fairs and festivals or about... See, this one came out pretty nicely where I like it. That one's just having some issues over here. I wonder if I'm going to run more major problems over it. But yeah. Looking, looking good so far. I like it. I may have to go to uh, uh, Walmart or to one of the other stores. I'm looking to, instead of putting it on that stand it has, because it is a little looser than normal, I'm looking for an outdoor table to put it on. I could have put it on that wood table because that's, well, that's kind of not balanced and it's not the correct table to have. So we're going to look for probably a new table to sit on that grill on, uh, basically. Uh, I just don't, for some reason, I don't feel comfortable with that uh, stand. But we're going to do what we got to do is we're going to finish this grilling video. It's getting darker soon, isn't it? Yeah. It means fall and winter coming. We'll take it. Yeah. Well, I did say I was going to cook some barbecue ribs out there when it gets colder. Can't it could, wait. We yeah. have lots of ribs. Yeah, I know we got a lot of ribs. Uh, in that. I'm going to have to look for a, a table for out there, an all-weather table out there, so I can set the uh, grill on it instead. Uh, basically, so I'm in the market for that. Yes. Okay. So we'll see what uh, Walmart offers, and we'll see what Best. Uh, we'll see what not Best Buy, but Home Depot offers, and we'll check uh, uh, Farm and Fleet. Sometimes Farm and Fleet will have something like that in their camping section. So it's something like a camping type table, uh, not too big. I'll measure it to see how big we want it, but it's something that we can fit uh, that grill on. Okay. Yep. Uh, you want barbecue sauce on your on your ribeye sandwiches? Mm. No. No? Plain? Yes. Okay. You're going to come Wait. in. Wait. Wait, what? Yes, I like barbecue sauce on those sandwiches. Yeah, it, barbecue sauce is better because it's with barbecue in it. Barbecue sauce is always better with barbecue sauce on them. Uh, repeat that. <laughs> repeat that, ma'am. <laughs> barbecue <laughs> sandwich is always better with barbecue sauce on them. Okay, yeah, we're buying sandwiches. <laughs> we're having. Yes. Confusing, isn't it? Yes. Okay, that's a curveball. The baseball season's over. Oh, by the way, Chicago Cubs are still playing to win. And you guys, if you heard Chuck right, April 16th is the Nug is the Lumber Kings home opener for 2020. Yep, stuff like that. You know how you dodge the Cubs question? Because the Cubs are not going to make the playoffs, that's why. Got the sandwiches done for Angie. Mine is almost done. I just leave a little more char on that one side. Let's go serve these up for Angie real quick. Okay, ma'am, here's your two ribeye sandwiches. Thank you. They look good, do they? Yes. Bon appetit, right? Yep. Okay, I just got done with my ribeye sandwiches. We're gonna, we're gonna sit here. Well, I'm gonna sit out here and join them. Angie's busy watching on some of our YouTube videos in there and playing that Kindle Fire on top of that. So we'll just sit here, relax, and uh, have our, she'll be in there uh, eating her sandwiches, and I'll be out here eating mine. And we'll tell you, I uh, hope Angie finished both of them, because uh, they look pretty big for her. Actually, they're not that big, but for Angie, that's pretty huge. But maybe we'll be surprised at the, at the end of this video. Woo, yeah, those are good sandwiches so far. I didn't get very far on it already. <laughs> Because the things was greasier than I thought. So by the time I get done, go if I'm wearing a darker shirt. Because if I would have wore a white shirt, you would have seen grease stains all over right here. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of on the greasy side uh, somewhat. But they're good uh, so far. So, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to finish up eating. And when Angie gets done, I'll go ahead and change shirts. Uh, I'll finish up the video. Because uh, I got some place I want to go uh, by myself tonight. Uh, anyway, after this video is done, all right? Oh, those sandwiches were filling, right? Yep. You didn't even finish your second one, right? Okay, I knew it was going to be filling in a way. Okay, we're just sitting out here relaxing on the patio, of course, as always. Uh, hey, it's already almost quarter to eight. Look how dark it is already in that, so. Okay, I got to do some, uh, I got to go back. Uh, I gotta do some editing. I'm way behind on my editing lately. So I gotta get catch up on my editing. And uh, we'll be right back. I gotta mention something else. I don't know. We're just, uh, 
I'm thinking we've started seeing some suspicious people up here lately. I may have to give a little, I gotta just investigate a little bit more and see what's going on. Uh, a lot of people don't realize we do YouTube up here. We got YouTube cameras going, <laughs> basically. Uh, like I said, I mentioned it in an earlier video. Okay, uh, like I said, growing tail pretty good mm -hmm. in that. I was just feeling a little tired. Me I got too. It was, it was feeling, those ribeye steaks were good in that, so, uh, we'll probably do more grilling videos, probably during, as the winter progress, and somebody has been requesting some cooking videos, which is going to be Angie cooking, but if Angie's going to cook, chances are I'm going to be helping out, uh, just be aware of that, okay, before you slam the thumbs down on those videos. Guess, and I guess, and I haven't done the enchiladas I wanted in a long time. Yeah, and you want to show how to make, how you make them, right? Yeah. I thought we showed them once. Oh, that's right, we did. I think we showed them once. We did. I ended up helping you and look at how many thumbs down we got. No, I did it on my own. Oh, you did it on your own? Okay, all right. I don't know. Oh, I'm not worried Carla about it. Oh, wants that other recipe on a video. Yeah, okay. Hey, you just did a shout out. And shout out to Justin, too. Whoever Justin is, shout out to you. Or anybody mm -hmm. who's named Justin that subscribed to our channel, shout out to you guys, too. All right. Okay, uh, and shout out to everybody else uh, that watches this video. Right now, we need to end this video. It's been a longer video than I wanted to be. Right? Yes. Okay. Oh, please like, share, subscribe. You're not forget to hit that subscribe and the notification bell. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.